<clears throat> Hello, everyone. I am Varus Elimian the Second. Apparently, my father's journeys have become so interesting that people all over the world are watching them. To aid in this, I've been asked to go over what's been happening in the life of my father and his dear friends. To that effect, let me start by thanking our sponsor, Flex Tape, for helping to fix the dragon's eyeballs from my father's previous encounter. But I digress. My father and his vagabonds continue to travel deeper into the mines, attempting to locate the Gith, their recent escapade taking them into a large underground forest, where everyone was warned a dragon lurked. Taking no cares at all about this dragon, they followed some experts to a passage further inward before swindling them out of Varus' cloak of evil. That is, they didn't give them the cloak. It was then that they were attacked by the aforementioned dragon. Everyone did a fantastic job killing the dragon. And by everyone, I mean Kanan. She's my favorite character. And now, the group has ended up in a giant's tomb taking his loot and belongings, including a rug named Sue, who does some really fun stuff later in the story, and a pet baby dragon, who dies in the next episode, but that's a spoiler. I hope you all enjoy the story of my father and his found family. Very that's nice. All. Excellent. Very well done. Okay. Um... Alright, so let me switch our tone here because we're in a cave and it shouldn't be quite so nice maybe just a little more calm okay um let's actually do uh we'll just do this okay Rather than the dripping noises. All right, so um, as Varus or Jevin nicely summed up, um, during the last episode, you all ventured further into the forest. You found this huge underground space. Uh, it's like a mile long and about a half mile wide, full of thick jungle. A surprising thing to find as far down underground as you are. A myriad of life lived there, and you encountered a good amount of it, um, both through observance and through direct conflict. Most striking were the feral humans that you encountered, who warned you through their weird amalgamation of common and under common um, of a dragon flying overhead. They also warned you about the mysterious uh, brain crawling entities that zapped some of the intelligence of a couple of you, um, who then you were helped in defeating them with by, or by some uh, velociraptors. The Exvarts you met did try to swindle you out of uh, a jacket, and upon uh, some clever use of magic by Harriet, um, you managed to avoid giving them an incredibly powerful magic item that definitely would have been uh, <laughs> would have been a detriment later on. So good on you! Um, but you successfully defeated the dragon after an intense fight, um, and plundered the giant's tomb below, finding down there both the magic carpet and uh, several large opened eggs, and one unopened. Overnight, uh, you spent some time observing it, and in the morning, after a, an intense conversation about whether to kill it or not, um, you decided to not kill it, and hatched the dragon, who named himself as Urgis the Hungry, a green dragon. Um, who, based on what he said to Harriet, is older than he appears, um, apparently having been around for several hundred years and only now deciding to hatch. So, um, that, I believe, is where we left off. There was a, a bit of conversation about getting ready to head out, and everyone had taken a rest. Um, so this is in the morning. You all are in still inside this tomb space, uh, which you managed to close the door on the top of. Oh, unless I forgot and you all left. Is that right? Uh, no, Harriet's not in it because she's That's flying right. the magic carpet with Urges. Yeah, so Harriet and Urges uh, yeah. fl flew around and the rest of you had exited the tomb area. And you find yeah. yourselves back in this large, jungly space. Um, lots of plants and uh, other animals buzzing about. You see the 
you can hear the forest creaking and groaning. You see the the wide variety in flying animals, as well as uh, the scurrying of some of the smaller ones, squirrels and rats and those kinds of things along the forest floor. Um, the heavy the heaviness and the humidity in the air is intense. It's palpable, and uh, you all now are set with the task of finding your way out of here. Seeing that the Exvarts uh, door that they showed you actually did not lead out anywhere. Harriet's gonna shout down from the magic carpet. Does anybody see a way out of here? I might look. I was gonna say, you're the one who's got a bird's eye view or dragon's well, eye view. I'm up here, but doesn't mean my vision got better from up here. <laughs> Yeah, but you could see Actually more kind of got worse. <laughs> I'll look around. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, so you're going to look around for an exit, or are you looking, like, what are you looking for in particular? Bright red neon sign. Like <laughs> <That's> a Flashing <laughs> <laughs> no, Um, She's just, I'm thinking, you know, she's not, it's not her first priority. She's looking around. She's really just kind of flying around and being okay. like, is there an obvious what we've seen before, yeah. kind of doorway, or she's not scrutinizing every corner. Okay, you know? okay. Is there a giant hole that you could leave from? Yeah. Um, yes, okay, that so... we just hadn't seen, because we hadn't walked to that section or something, sure. and now she's flying. <laughs> uh, make, go ahead and make a perception check. First roll of the night, starting strong. Never starting strong, but let's see. Harriet is one of the strongest of us. Not so. perception. Mm -hmm. No, I'm talking. Hey, well. Okay, 17, pretty good. Um, you fly about the this space above the trees. The trees are pretty tall. Remember, they're like 30 to 40 feet tall most in most places, and they're pretty thick. Um, so flying above the tree line, you have a tough time seeing down below that. The canopy is fairly thick overhead um, through different, you know, the, the green and purple colored leaves. Kind of make it difficult to see down into the space. But you do have pretty free dominance of that, seeing that everything is pretty still afraid of the giant dragon that was there. Um, they have built in those instincts and the new dragon that is floating around next to the dragon on the flying carpet. So uh, it's a fair amount of, uh, <laughs> you have free reign over the skies. There's a tiny dragon on a flying carpet. There's like news spreading, like, okay, there's a real dragon and then there's some creature on a carpet. A smaller dragon. <laughs> uh, but. You know, after about, I would say, 10 or so minutes of flying around, um, doing circles, and it's a large enough space, it would take you a little while, you don't find anything that's an obvious exit. It, like I said, really is difficult to see down through the tree line, or the, the canopy overhead. Um, but you do get a little bit better look at that weird light thing that's above, that's emitting light. It seems to be some amalgamation of crystal and fungal spores uh, that just it's this weird pale light that doesn't really seem to be adequate for most things to grow. Somehow it's sustaining this forest though. Okay. And in that, it's okay if like, I got all my information mm -hmm. from that role, but is there, like in that kind of flying around, are there more obvious paths of places that other people had been traveling toward? You know, like not an exit, but yeah, um, where you... people have been traveling around. Yeah, you, you get a, a good sense of like the amount of trails and stuff that are around that have been traveled. There are cleared areas, and you've walked through some of them yourself. Uh, the main ones you and the party have already walked through. Um, but you do see some side little offshoots that, you know, they jut into the forest as a clearing, and then it becomes obscured fairly quickly. Um, nothing that seems like it, it was purposefully made by anybody. Okay. It just seems like it's been worn down by frequent travel from different animals. Okay, she'll kind of fly back down. <laughs> like, um, well, there wasn't anything obvious, that's for sure. Um, a few trails, maybe, that we could try, but no funky light up there. But other than that, I mean, we're going to have to do some... Unless someone else finds something, we'll have to maybe do some pressing through the forest. All right, uh, you saw any uh, paths or anything we haven't traveled down? Maybe a few. Um, 
worth looking into, seeing if they go somewhere, but it seems like we might have to make our own path. It's not. I am really good at that. Yes, you are, Varus. I feel like if we just keep following random paths without any direction, we're going to be down here for an eternity. So only follow the paths that go down. What? Is that where we're going? Are we going down, right? Normally, I would agree, but it's like the place. one direction we were given. I mean, in that case, maybe get a shovel out. I was really hoping you were going to say otherwise. We'll have to start doing some digging. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Does anyone have any real solutions? Harriet, make we can scout check. the area. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, Kenny, you were going to say. Oh, I... Nah, I'm good. Okay. Um, a nine. Yeah, you remember, uh, Harriet, when you cast the fear spell that the Exvarts ran off in a particular direction, but you don't remember which direction. Um, does anyone remember where those little nuisances ran? <laughs> I'm sure we could find traces of them probably i don't remember but maybe if we go to where we fought them we can i don't know follow their footsteps back maybe i just i kind of feel like maybe this um following where they went might be better than following where they said to go you know what i mean <laughs> that strange creature in the tunnel give us some sort of directions i only have Zorn? vague recollection I believe yeah, that was his name. Zorn of Zorn? I was a little bit more focused on that gaping maw and several arms. Yes, that one. That's the one. This is Zorn. I hate those notes. Regardless, though, they do kind of seem... The x I mean... They seem to know that there is an exit somewhere and how to get there. So do maybe they'll go there eventually if we just follow them. It does seem to be our best clue so far. So. Is anyone particularly good at following traces of things that were here a day ago? I could try. I can certainly try as well. I'll help you in that. All right. Uh, Ezekiel, go ahead and make a survival check with advantage. Mm. Oof. You start making that. these uh, cloverleaf shaped um, searches out, you know, these kind of concentric circles as you venture out, trying to find any trace of these creatures. And you kind of have to, to rewind in your mind that what happened before the fight so that you can find their tiny, small little footsteps. But you manage to, sp to find it fairly quickly, uh, faster than you had anticipated. It happens to be on the first ring out that you're making. And you find their, their little trail kind of darts off away from the fight area. And you almost lose the track a few times. It takes you about a half an hour to follow it. But you do manage to follow it a good distance until it, re it reaches a point where um, you either have to push into thick forestation, like dense underbrush and all of that, or choose a different direction. So right now you're like maybe 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes walking away from the fight scene, if that's as far as you'd like to go. Or if you would go that far, I should say. So it's like a seeming dead end other than we could go through the forest, theoretically? The, yeah, the worn trail ends. So, okay. But you're not quite sure where in relation to the rest of the cave, cavern area that you are. Well, that's unfortunate. The... So do the footprints continue? Or do they? The, also so the seem footprints to stop, continue, and they then become... it, the underbrush is just too thick, so it's not leaving clean footprints anymore. Yeah, and you can't see it as well. Okay, right. Well, it seems to continue off in this direction, but it's, it's entirely overgrown. Probably not worth trying. But it seems like the best lead we might have. <laughs> Maybe it is worth trying. Matt, thus far has the trail just kind of been like 
straight path like they were heading fastest way somewhere or was it kind of like winding like easiest like oh there's a big rock over here it's a little easier to walk this way yeah definitely easiest path first um it's it's not it doesn't seem like an emergency escape route or anything like that it just seems like this is the way that they walk because it's the easiest way to go they're not the type to, to carve out a path um but Zarius, one thing you do notice with your incredibly high perception is that you all are about 20 feet from the cavern wall um well, if there's an exit, it's the walls right over there. We could see if maybe they have like a little cave or something. Right. I mean, we could That's also tr follow along the wall too, and as a point of reference, maybe. It's not a bad Perhaps. idea. I don't know. <laughs> Grasping for. Serious grass goes to here. the wall. <laughs> <laughs> You trudge through the underbrush, and you get a couple of stickers in your foot. It doesn't feel great. Also, no pitfall. Uh, <laughs> um, and Why as you... Like, why are there stickers in this cave? It's like Spider-Man. <laughs> Banana sticker. I heart bar is hilarious. Banana yeah. sticker. I heart bar is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I heart who? This just smells like blueberries. You start to feel along the wall, and uh, you just feel this overwhelming compulsion to make a perception check. <laughs> I eat Kevin. <laughs> Sorry, those are so funny every time. They Mac. never get old. Oh. Okay, 12. Uh, it takes you a good 10 minutes uh, of just like kind of running your hands along the wall and looking around, really trying to figure out. Um, it looks like you aren't the first person to get lost and forget where the door is because there's a nice little, right against the cave wall, there's a nice little path that's worn down from people walking back and forth. And so you do the same and walk back and forth. And eventually you do find, after another 10 minutes or so, you find the same um, like hidden door that was there on the way in. It's just pressed into the into the cave wall. It's very difficult to see. You only manage to find it because you're running your hands along basically all parts of it. And you can just slip your fingers in and pull it out if you'd like to. Yeah, he'll go ahead and do that. Okay. You reach in and pull it out, and it's like... Uh, it's like sliding a, a box out of a hole that just barely fits the box. It just gives that nice, almost suction noise. You and then set the lid to the side, and it's a it's a small hole. It's about uh, two and a half, maybe three feet square. Um, so you all have to you know crouch down or crawl to get through. Uh, but you can fit in there just just as you got into the area before this. Well. Shall we go? Um, I suppose so. We all gonna, so. We all gonna fit in that? <laughs> oh, um, is our new friend going to fit in that? Uh, or just sees the hole and looks at you, Harriet. Um, and you notice, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, um, as you've been walking, I should have said this before, I'm sorry. Um, as you've been walking, you notice, all of you have noticed that Urgis is sort of mimicking Harriet's like posture and her walking and like how she's moving her body. Um, but it's like, he's still, you know, he's a dragon. So it's got a really, you know, long neck and long, long tail and kind of shorter back legs and everything. So it looks very strange, like a dog walking on its hind legs almost. It's, it's very, uh, it's just a weird looking thing, but he's definitely imitating her. Um, and you see, as you, you all are taking in the size of this entrance, Ur just goes up and kind of, you can see him like sizing himself up, like, am I gonna fit? Can I do this? And you all immediately recognize there's no way he's gonna fit in here. He's too big, shoulders are too broad, his two wings are too big. And he looks at the hole and like stretches his wings out all the way and looks at both of them and goes, <sighs> in common, he says, a sad fate to have never seen the sky. I won't end up like my brother. And you see him hold his claws out, and these bits of emerald light materialize at the tips of his claws. This light dimly glows and coats over his entire scaly body until a moment later, the light fades, and you see standing in front of you a muscular and completely naked male dragonborn on foot. Or a foot or so shorter than Harriet. He uh, looks you all over and um, speaks first in Draconic and then, oh, sorry, 
yeah, he speaks first in Draconic, and then looking you all over, seeing that most of you don't understand what he's saying, his shoulders slump somewhat, and you see his mouth, again, awkwardly form the words in common. May I please have a cloak or something to make myself decent? Yes. And Harriet will pull out her uh, some of her clothes from Renovage that like uh-huh. that we dressed up as like <laughs> other people. Okay. They'll be too big. You said he's a foot shorter. Just about, yeah, about 10, 10 so, 12 inches. But you know, there's probably you know can belt it. Yeah. <laughs> just like hand it over. He takes it and just, like, like he doesn't really know how it's supposed to work. He just throws it over his shoulders and holds it shut. Um, the, like, okay, the let me get that. And she'll, like, you know, like a mom put, tying someone's tie, like, for their first, like, dance. Like, buttons up the shirt and, like, shows how to, like, gestures to her belt and, like, shows how to put a belt through the pant loops. <laughs> like, <laughs> you see him just as, I- yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just saying, because she has her belt of Dwarvenkin, so I'm just saying oh, yeah. she has a le- her old belt that mm. she used to wear, so that's where, like why she has a brand of belt. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah, you see, like, as you're explaining these things and as he's c- communicating in common, each word comes from his mouth like a bad taste, and you can see him yeah. curling his lips back, like he's, he's almost trying to avoid the words touching him as he speaks. And he's, after you finish this whole thing, he says... If we are going to be traveling together, I suppose it might be fitting that we can speak, even if your language is primitive and banal. (laughs) Harry will respond back in Draconic and say, well, if you ever, you know, just need to speak like this, I'm still here, so. I will. (laughs) So, for those of you who I haven't properly met, I am Urgis the Hunger. Well, howdy. I hope you're never hungry for us. <laughs> um, yes, nice hello. to meet you. Hello. I'm Varus. Varus Olympian. Hi. Zarius. Varus Olympian and Zarius. And you two are... Just ring a Kanan and Ezekiel. Oh, uh, Kanan. Kanan. Ezekiel. I can't speak of the wonderful pleasure that it is to make all of your acquaintance. Ah! I don't even need an insight check. <laughs> insight check? <laughs> don't even need it. If you'd like I to make one, you can. Yeah. In common. <laughs> I cannot express the insight. joy I, I feel. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, he seems, he definitely has an air of self-importance about him. Like, He's acting as if all of this stuff is beneath him, and like, he's like, I don't care who you are, he, but he's being polite, you know? He's He realizes he's got to travel with you, and he's just gonna do that. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Sorry, I just remembered one thing. Got clothes, but how about this? This will make you feel maybe a little more regal, you know, why? You're gracing us stuff like this. And she'll like pull out her like really fancy horn jewelry from when we used to like, what that she got to fight in the last battles. Um, and she'll like show him kind of just gesture at her horn, how it goes on. Like he wants this, You're, I wore this in some glorious battle. It's very important, but if it will make you feel important, you may have it. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Ooh, not <the> three. <laughs> he kind of is, he's very skeptical as he sort of takes all of you in and listens, um, but he looks over the jewelry and kind of like, you can see that he's resisting himself, you know, his, his better judgment. And he's like, it was an important battle. Very important. The most glorious. <laughs> Suppose I could wear it if it will help to remind all of you of my status here. He takes it and puts it on. And yeah. You can see it's a little crooked at first. Yeah. yeah. Perry will help adjust it. 
very looks very important indeed. No one will mistake how important you are, I'm sure. Thank you. Uh, That's all. <laughs> you with the fur, Kanan, correct? Yes. I have to say you have my respect. Thank you. How have I earned this? Well, it's not every day someone is willing to gut their enemies before they can defend themselves. Quite a shrewd maneuver. Right. Um. I, of course, am thankful that you all decided not to. In fact, I see us all being very useful to one another in the coming weeks and months. Weeks and months. Uh, yes. Our journey doesn't end at this cavern door, does it? Wasn't planning on that. <laughs> Neither was I. As I said, a sad fate to have never seen the sky. I won't end up like him. Well, you'll see it. It's achievable. That's a goal you could make just fine. Seeing the sky, it's not too far. Not too far. <laughs> Where uh, are we headed, if I can be so bold as to ask? Well, um, some intelligence-sucking fiends have captured something very important to me, but it's on the way to the Divine Gate. The Divine Gate? We're, we're also supposed to rescue a bunch of people to help fight against the tyrant. Which tyrant? We got a lot on our plate. He has a name. Um, you mean Tadriel? Tadriel. Tadriel. <laughs> he is Sorry, a I was tyrant. Like, the third tyrant. I genuinely, you know how all our lads have like the, I genuinely thought I forgot about the tyrant for a second. Yeah. I was like. The prospector, the tyrant. Who? I forgot about the tyrant. <laughs> Tadriel, Tadriel. It's not a name passed down to me through our legends. That's probably good. It means he's not important. You should tell him that when you see him. I, I surely I will. <laughs> I want to see that. He's an angel of sorts. Ex-angel? Um, and you see I him think kind you of... Always... Still in, yeah, yeah. I don't... see him kind of snarl back at that. Ugh. The divine, they're so... good. It's exhausting. I bet you're gonna have a hoot around us then. Kanan's just gonna turn around and keep walking. Okay. Wait, but the hole. Yeah, we're gonna start crawling. <laughs> Through the hole. Goes away. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, the sooner we get this done, the sooner you can see your sky, so. Indeed. I must, uh. Well, I see one of us has already left, but I should warn you all. The giants kept the eggs of my kin as a prize. They were not above creating guardians either. There are ancient creatures known as the Behir, who were sent to hunt my kind. Seeing that I'm awake, and uh, my senses are refining by the day, I can sense that there is one close. So be perceptive. Can do. <laughs> Shall we away? Let's get to crawling. All right. And Zarius will start crawling after Kanan. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you crawl down through this this small. I mean, it's you know, it's a small-ish. It's like an attic door entrance. Um, you you crawl through this hole and you enter into a larger cavern, similar to the one that you came in um, when you first entered in. In this case, there is no tree, but there is the dead, the dead uh, roots of a tree, like a stump that's been cut down. 
sitting there. Um, the, other, other than that, the room is devoid of anything relatively interesting. And you see that the other side uh, is... It, there is a door there, but it's opened and set to the side. We all crawling in a single file line. Uh, you like, have to crawl. How tight? Yeah, so you have to crawl. It's just a small, like a, a foot long entrance. So you just have to crawl through this, and then it opens up into this larger, okay. sort of dome shaped cavern. If you all would just like to pass through to the other side, you can. It's yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Okay. So you pass through, and this time it's the same size of hole, but it lasts about 15 feet, and it curves off into the right. So you can't see in there unless you're Ezekiel, have your lantern out. Um, but you you all crawl through, follow the curve to the right. It's very smooth stonework. It's definitely been carved by somebody. It's it's on purpose. It's holding, just put it here by put itself here by accident. And it, as it curves to the right, you see that it, there's no door on this side, and you can exit out. Kanan, I assume you're going first. Okay. Yes. So as you exit out, go ahead and make a perception check. Twenty-three, nice. Um, yeah, so you you exit out into this space, and you immediately take a look around, and you see that where the uh, path exits out on, it's kind of a landing. It's this wide, maybe ten by ten square block of relatively flat uh, and smooth stone. It looks like a natural formation. There's some debris around in the corners, but um, for the most part, it's it's relatively clean, a little dusty. Uh, the the cliff side continues, the rock wall is on your right hand side, and the path continues forward and narrows to a pretty narrow point. Um, even you would have to walk one foot in front of the other to walk along this pathway as it continues on maybe 15, 20 feet ahead. To your left, a wide open cavern is, is visible with a huge drop off, several hundred feet wide, with a river of lava below. Um, very, very, very far down. <laughs> um, sorry, several hundred feet down. It's just a wide, it's like a hundred feet wide. Um, so if you look down off of this, you can see to your left, as in behind the direction that you just came, it continues on. You can see the, the lava river kind of wind back and forth as it descends downward. Off to your right, uh, like I said, the path curves along the side of the cliff, and the, the river continues up that way and snakes off to the right out of sight. Um, this area is full of like a lot of kind of wildlife. There's a lot of bats and some of the birds that have gotten out and escaped from the jungle. You even see a cloaker fl flapping away its way about the space. Um, it looks like they're just floating around. A lot of stalactites and stalagmites, hang, uh, stalactites hang from the ceiling. And you can even from here feel the heat rising up from the molten rock below. Wow. Um... Is everyone near me? I'd say by this time everyone could have exited out if they'd like to, yeah. Uh, Kane is just gonna turn to whoever's there and be like, uh, wow, um, I don't know much how we cross this. Uh, there's quite a few things uh, in the air. I don't know if they'll prove any like danger to us or not. Well, I am hungry, so I'll be back. And Ur just transforms again, his wings flapping, and he goes to tail that cloaker. Oh, he can just do that. Oh, I don't know why, but I got the impression that that was like one and done. And you can just do that to an extent, yeah? Varus will turn into Ur just. I mean, yeah, but I think it's a little different. <laughs> I'll turn back into himself. <laughs> Over my head. So, sorry, I was a little bit spacey. So, where does the path continue? The path continues off into the right. So, think of it you're standing like uh, on a little inlet of stone as the river mm -hmm. passes down below on your left hand side. 
So if I remember correctly, and by remember, I mean if I can read my notes, um, it was split path, take the right, giant tombs, and then cliff face on the right. So at least we're headed in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Follow the narrow path to the right with lava is what I have written in my notes. Yeah. <laughs> lava. Your notes are far better than mine. <laughs> uh, not really, but... I'm picturing us like looking at the map like a family on vacation right now <laughs> as you guys are pulling out your notes. You're like, I swear you said find the lava. <laughs> you said go right. <laughs> No, your other right. And let's go right. <laughs> Forrest will start walking to the right. Okay. It's like a really thin path, right? Is it, that what yeah, it thins out pretty quickly. Um, maybe oh, 15, no. 20 feet away from you, it thins out to where oh, there he is. it's Not tough again. to yeah, it's tough to walk on. Or um, just can fly after you. And I has, can fly after you. He has such high dexterity, but every time we do this, every Maybe you can get on the, uh, the carpet. <laughs> So you all are continuing along this uh, narrow walkway, correct? Yes. Yep. All right. As far as it is, yeah. So. Okay. So you hesitates a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you, you make your way out, go. and you start to to go, and you're actually making pretty good progress. All of you are fairly dexterous. You're you're doing okay, um, and everyone's walking, correct? Yes. Okay. Full um, on sprint. No. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> As you continue on, Zarius, or who's going first? Sorry. It would be me. Varus is going first, okay. <laughs> so Varus, um, as you're walking, you step and you feel a moment too late, the rock give way under your foot. And you see who's at the back. Oh, I'm in the, probably was in the back with Urges. Okay. Uh, Urges is flying. He's... I mean, like when we were walking. Oh, in, yeah, yeah. Was... Okay, yeah, yeah. So um, she's still in the back. Okay, so Harriet, you feel on the other side of you, behind your back foot, the rock start to give. The entire section start that you all are standing on, you see uh, fissures in the rock start to form these cracks, jagged, reaching up maybe 10, 10 feet high, and the whole side of it starts to slough and begin to fall. Um, what would you all like to do? Everyone, uh, go ahead and make dexterity saving throws first to see if you just start falling. This is so I, I have a question. Yeah. Um, and this was not clarified or anything. I just for this carpet, is it like it's rolled up on Harriet's back? Like, is it flying next to us? Is it filled up like a pocket oh my square? God, is what is the young. like? We hadn't clarified that. But yeah, so, yeah. Sorry, it's a not, big carpet. Yeah. Um, it's you know almost as tall as you are, and yeah. uh, it prefers to fly on its own. So, so it'll it's roll objectively up. Objectively, just fl right flying behind. Yeah. Harriet is kind of the concept. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just floating around, you know? Okay. Bye, Ben. What? Okay. <laughs> you know who's not vibing? Uh, Any of us, <laughs> Kanan. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> Kanan, very quickly, you manage to just leap up the side of the cliff and over Varus onto safety. You're on the other side. Um, the rest of you are beginning to fall. So, you've fallen about 10 feet at this point down. Um, the entire side of the rock is still falling with you, so it's not like you're in free fall yet, but you are rapidly descending and losing your ability to, like, you know, reach out for help. I would say, actually, not, not 10 feet, I'd say you're actually about 6 feet down. So, Kanan, you could still reach down, and they could reach up, and you could grab somebody uh, if you'd like to. You're within that range. Yeah, uh, Kanan's going to be like, oh, uh, does anyone have, like, uh, rope on hand, or can you grab my hand? Okay. As we're free falling. Yeah, are yeah. we free falling or is are we still like on the platform? With the rocks. Like you're, sliding. Yeah, yeah. you're on the platform that's falling. Okay. So, okay. Um, okay. Varus, you're the only one close enough to grab Kanan's hand if you'd like to. Um, but you don't have to. The one with fly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can yeah fly. who's right behind me? Not me. Who would have been? Right. I think it's Zarius. Zarius? Yeah, yeah, Zarius would have been falling, Varus. Okay. Uh, could I in some way be like... Ugh. No, probably not, because I'm tiny and... Yeah. <laughs> uh, but just be like, Zarius, we need to get you up there. Come on. And maybe like hold out my hands to try and help 
maybe lift him up in that direction a little bit. Okay. I would say um, we'll see how you all roll. Kanan, yeah. and, <laughs> Kanan and Zarius and, uh, well, actually, Kanan make an athletics check. Zarius make an acrobatics check and Varus make an athletics check. Oh. <laughs> I think I've seen this film before. Zarius is going to have another claw marks in his other arm this time. Uh. <laughs> Varus, you and Zarius kind of fumble with each other and are having a hard time, like, switching places. Um, and Kanan just claws into the cliffside, leans forward, grabs the back of Zarius's clothing, and just starts to lift, uh, managing to pull him up over Varus. Um, so, Kanan, you are currently holding Zarius just dead weight. He's not, not contributing to that at all. Um, oh. So. Good golly, you need to... I don't know, have your sword eat some more or something. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. And Zarius will try to like turn and like at least support some of his weight okay. on the oh, rock, like find turn, something. To... <laughs> no, so, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Am I in any way close enough to help with that at all? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, your, yeah, your move was to switch try places. To pull him up. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, you're, Kanan's going to try to pull him up. Real quick, we'll do the next round, basically, for Harriet and Ezekiel first. Um, so you two have Good continued golly. to fall. What would you like to do? Harriet's like, Sue! <laughs> Come <Okay>. on now! <laughs> At your word, Sue swoops down and is just hovering right where your feet are, just descending with you. You have but okay. to step over. And if I remember correctly, two people can get on this? Two people can get on. Okay. <laughs> So she'll get on, and depending on how fast it is, try and get under where Ezekiel is going to fall next. Yeah, you, you could do that. So that's, um, that's my move. Okay. And Ezekiel, you see this rug appear and swoop next to you. It's not scooping you up, it's just next to you. He is panicking on the thing, being like, oh god, oh god, oh god. Wait, that thing Come looks on. even more dangerous. <laughs> no, it's really not, Ezekiel. He like closes his eyes and like covers and steps towards it. <laughs> okay. He grabs Thanks. like part of your arm, like come on now, <laughs> get, get on here. It's not I could that have bad. stayed at home. I could have stayed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you two step off onto Sue, who sinks a little bit under the weight, but is able to uh, lift you all and just stays right where where you all are currently like standing. So she hasn't elevated at all, just there. Um, Varus, you are continuing to fall. Kanan, you're going to try to lift Zarius up. Go to make an athletics check. Twenty. Pretty good. Yeah, just sheer force of will, you yank and just drag Zarius up on top of the cliff that you're standing on. Um, all the way up to his hips, so his legs are still hanging, but um, most of his body is there. All right, you're gonna need some some new clothes there, and she'll just <laughs> pat your shoulder. <laughs> okay. Well, rather that than the lava. Um, Varus, you are still falling. Yeah, Varus will cast fly on himself. Okay. Um, and just scoot up there, and if anyone still needs help getting on, he'll offer a hand or two. Okay. Um, as you begin to lift up, Urgis swoops right where you were mouth open and snaps right under your feet just kind of like press my foot down onto his nose like hey 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 <laughs> bad dog man's got um, eat. not us i hope that that was a friendly thing and not a joe trying to eat me but wow <laughs> as he circles up away i was only trying to hoist you by your foot i believe ah. you I don't think the others would, but I believe you. Okay. So, yeah, the, with the rock falling away, um, with the rock falling away, the path has widened somewhat. You have a much more flat area that you can stand. <laughs> um, Innovation that excites. Yeah. But, uh, so you see Fall as the, um, after creeping along the edge, that's a little wider now, um, the path has finally 
opened up into another one of these landings uh, that I mentioned before. The, the main notable feature of this is that there's a large cave entrance at it. Uh, it just looks like a regular cave. Um, regular cave. Yeah, regular cave. Um, regular cave. And immediately you can feel a, a sense of coolness coming from inside of it. It's definitely not cold. Um, it's still around like 75, 80 degrees. But compared to the 110 that you're experiencing with the heat of the lava rising up, uh, it, it feels pretty good. Mostly you notice that uh, two people should make a perception check. I got one. I got another. You get a perception check. You get a perception check. Not everyone. <laughs> okay, 12 and 15. Pretty good. Uh, well, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> um, okay, so the big things that you notice is that this, the interior of this cavern, this cave, is dark. Um, there's a thin layer of dust on the ground that uh, as you look inside of it, and um, there are no footprints leading in. The corners of the cave have, that you can see from here, have old cobwebs, and you see some small spiders skittering about. Nothing, you know, out of the ordinary for this, for a deep, dark cave. The cave is very large from what you can see from here. Um, and you can even hear, like, the echoing of your footsteps and your gear kind of jangling and your conversation echoing th within that space. Um, at one point, you get the sense that it was carved, but uh, it is in such a bad state of repair that it's become, it looks almost natural at this point. All the stonework is rough hewn and it's its very, uh, it's, in, it's in a bad state. Um, but without entering in, the only other thing that you notice with a, yeah, you just get it with a 15, is Kanan, at your feet, there, just at the front entrance, there's a little um, tadpole-like thing that's dead on the ground just outside the cave entrance. It's about the length of your hand, and it has a large uh, beaked sucker on one end and a tail on the other. It looks like shriveled and dried out in this little, uh, what was once probably a very gross, wet pile of mucus, but it's since dried. Like a slug beak trail. Sucker? Beak. Like a bird beak. Beak. Yeah. Like a squid. Like a leech? Like a squid. Yeah, like a leech, yeah. Uh, <laughs> top ten, well, not reassuring thing. There is a pretty large uh, leech looking thing over here, if any of you guys know what it is. I can't see any water, so I'm imagining it came. It's alive? Something else. It's dead. It's dead. Oh. Okay. Zeris will go, like, kick it, like, nudge it around this foot. See if you can see. Does he know what it is? Does he ever... Make a history check. Totally. 18. You you move it around with your foot, and you just kind of lean forward and squint at it, and it looks like a leech, but only just like. It, it doesn't look... Like it is a leech, it just looks similar. Um, you get the sense, just based on your experience with, you know, wildlife and those kinds of things, that this is likely a small, young version of something that will grow into something much larger. Uh, it doesn't seem like this is its final form, you could say. Um, it's my final form. My final form. Uh, but you don't recognize it. It's kind of purplish in hue. Well, no idea what that is, but it was supposed to be a lot bigger. Uh, all right. Disconcerting. Maybe, maybe this is that Bahia that we keep hearing about, and it's dead. You don't what? really believe that, do you? With our luck. I don't 100% believe it, but it's a possibility. Urgis. Well. Is Urgis here? Has Zer just followed us, or is Zer just still flying about trying to catch that cloaker? As you look around, he, um, you see him with the cloaker in mouth, just sort of gulping it down, and then he comes up and lands next to you, transforms into his uh, dragonborn form, and walks up. So, is this the cave we're venturing into? 
I believe so. Um, you don't happen to know what this is, do you? Dead. Ah! Fair enough. I am afraid I don't know. Uh, I was only born yesterday. <laughs> I, well, I wasn't <laughs> born yesterday. <laughs> oh, dude. Not Matt waiting to say that all session. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was born yesterday. <laughs> uh, well, oh, that's great. Doesn't all seem good. like it was some of the things you said. <laughs> um, yes, we should be careful if I remember what that Zorn thing said correctly. He warned us that there might be some guardians down near the caverns or the catacombs or something of that nature. I think it was cliff face, catacombs, lava fields, cave face with stone guardians. Hmm. There is still other ways to go. Regardless, keep your eyes open. I suppose I should go without saying. It's a good reminder. Onward? Onward. But then downward. All right, who is going first? Kanan. Kanan's going Sarah's first. Go All right. Second. Okay. Oh, one sec. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry got to do something. Oh, I'm no. afraid. That... <laughs> got to murder Varus. Quick up. 20 <laughs> traps in our way. Get ready. No, no. All right. It's uh, nothing that's... like that. Um... Varus, I need you to make a deck save as a... Maybe <laughs> freaking Regis. Urgis come. Regis? <laughs> Sorry. Every time we say Urgis, I think of Regis because the names are too close. Regis Cinemas. Okay. So... Um, what's my roll 20 comes back? <laughs> Boris, not the, not the nat 2018 strength save. <laughs> and it was as for a, a joke. As urges comes for your foot. <laughs> your other foot. I feel like Boris would be the last one urges would want to eat because he is the skinniest. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting it out there. If he's a ravenous dragon trying to eat somebody. Ezekiel's pretty skinny, too. Yeah, so is Arius. It's going to be me. <laughs> no, you're his mom. It's but just not. Kanan and Harriet. It's just, it's just Kanan. Sorry. It's just Kanan. <laughs> Everyone else is just skin and bones, and then there's Kanan and Harriet. Alliance time. Okay, my backup character is 20 strength. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't have back my backup character, character is Regis. <laughs> or just his younger sister. Just... <laughs> The Sphinx. Regis. Yeah, no, Regis from... Okay. The place we can't talk about. Yeah. All right. The uh, place I wasn't there for. <laughs> Are you not? No. Oh. It was that long ago? No. Yeah. Sorry, it was just a core Harriet memory. I think it was, so I've I think it was shortly it before mind. I got here. Yeah. Because I also, remember you guys talking about it. But... Also because I think I was like traumatized by that scene in like, a good kind of D&D way. But in a... If I hear that damn game show music one more time, Matt, it's it's on site. Okay. Coming for your head. As you enter into the cave, um, you step into the space, and you see that there. I mean, like I said before, there are some spider webs that you are to expect in a place like this. But the cave itself, the stone seems just, everything in here seems cooler. Um, it's a nice reprieve from the intense heat that you've been experiencing. Um, but it's dark. Um, the, uh, yeah. As you push in to the cave space, you hear um, a strange sort of silence. It's very still, very quiet as you walk about. You can hear your own. I'm going to move you all to the map here. What? Oh, this is never good. Fine. We're having a nice, cool. It's on the bottom right. Lunch break. It's just, it's, he just. Yeah. It's, it's... 
you, you all are on the bottom right, I should say. I'm sorry. I think I was thinking what Devin <coughs> saw. Oh. That's canonically what he looks like, right? Canonically. Is, yeah, that's what I had to do, is make, make Urgis his token. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, that's good. So you enter into this um, cave space, or just following behind, kind of keeping some distance between you all and him. Um, and you notice as you look around, there are kind of a lot of spider webs. Um, like, this place hasn't been, evidently hasn't been walked about by humanoid creatures your size in quite some time. It's like whacking cobwebs, in, like they get in her face, like with her quarter staff, like okay. <laughs> you know, okay. like yeah. someone, like when you're going on a hike and you have hiking poles or something. Yeah. Because like I picture her and like getting one in her nose and then like like exhaling really violently and like like a little poison like snuffs <laughs> out. You know? <laughs> like... Okay. Perfect. All right. Um. Yeah. Um. But that's, that's pretty much it. It's not like covering the entire path. It's not blocking your progress or anything like that. It just is a little more than you would expect. Kind of an alarming amount more than you would expect. But that depends on your personality. How much more is too much? How many, how many spider webs are too many? You know? It's kind of a personal, personal choice. <laughs> well, this is, is it new. usual for there to be so many webs this deep in rock? I have no idea. <laughs> when there the, where there's webs, there's usually something that makes the webs. I mean, except like cobble webs. Like a worldwide web? Like. That seems ridiculous. Who could pet a web around the world? I don't know. The idea of a, a worldwide web is horrifying to me. Can you imagine <laughs> the urgent? size of the spider that it would take to weave such a thing? Awful. Are you not a fan of spiders, Urgis? I am not. What for? They're awful and have too many legs. I mean, I have four, but eight? Come on. <laughs> How many can you need? I can get Got a point that. there. So would you not want to eat a giant spider? I don't think there would be much to eat. They're very chitinous and bony, if my blood memories are to be trusted. I've never tried, so... You I... know, it's good to try new foods. Why are we talking about eating spiders? Because his name is The Hungry. I'm respecting his interests. I... Suppose I should inform you that the hungry in my lineage does not stand for food or sustenance, it is for knowledge. Oh, like you eat books. Precisely. As long as you're not, uh, you know, like devouring intellect. I haven't found a about? way to do so yet, but. Okay. Your intellects are safe for now. This would not be the group for that. Yes, well, the creatures ahead that lie ahead are known for devouring intellects, so... Wonderful. Maybe you can devour them and gain theirs. Whoa, if you devour those who devour intellect... Do you gain intellect? This is a question that we should find the answer to. Yes, Whoa. and we should continue loudly discussing it in a dark cavern full of spiders. I webs. agree. Vars is going to take a couple steps forward. <laughs> okay. Uh, you continue into the cave area. Um, you all are free to move yourselves around. Just don't go too too far too fast. Um, and Stop right here. Yeah, you see uh, just a small spider skitter across okay. the space there. Uh Pars does jump a little bit. <laughs> it's like a regular sized spider. It's not anything crazy. <sighs> you see a couple more down in the corner there. And what you also notice is that 
that spider could not have made that amount of web. It is covering uh, from the floor to about four and a half feet up on the wall, and it is thick. Thick enough that if you were to step in it, you would probably not be able to pull your own leg out. Now that you're looking around, you notice that the webs that this spider is on extend up flat against the wall and arc across the ceiling of the cavern and seem to cover basically the entire ceiling and stretch off out of sight. Oh no. Ours is going to spend a lot of the time looking up at the ceiling from now on. Okay. <laughs> See another little swarm of spiders sort of you know, skitter their way across just about the space. Ezekiel in the back is also constantly looking around, terrified. <laughs> like, they, yeah. There are way too many webs here. They don't seem to notice or care about you. Um, they don't seem to acknowledge your presence. And as you continue, you see a number of large, smooth rocks that you could swear were eggs if you were that type. Would any of you like to approach? What's this way? Yeah. Okay. No. Or it's just going to go this way if he can. Yeah. <laughs> you notice as you pass through that space, uh, several large bones on the ground. <laughs> Take you a little more time to, like, examine if that's what you want to do, but... Kanan wants to take a peek at those eggs. Okay, yeah. You approach the from eggs. From a good distance. Okay, yeah. I was going to say you are going to have to tear through them if you want to get a real close look, but... Um, okay. So you peer through the webbing with your dark vision, and of course everything is grayscale, so you have a hard time making out super fine details. But what you notice is that um, they're not eggs, they're rocks. They <laughs> they have imperfections and cracks on the surface and those kinds of things, but your mind works, works up, you know, what you're seeing it to be something that it's not. Um, okay. But in this case, they are just rocks. This time. <laughs> Not that this time. Uh, yeah, you can continue on if you'd like to. All right, I'm just slow at moving my token on the map. You're fine, yeah. Um, like I Not said, Harriet, I, I didn't... like loving the scenery of <laughs> just, cobwebs wow. and like, wow, I really like what you did with the place. Really beautiful. I'm liking the very spooky season. <laughs> very ambiance, you know? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Varus, as you step around that corner, um, with, with an utter silence, you feel large uh, fangs puncture through your calf muscle. Um, ah. Or attempt to. At least get the clothing as soon as I can find the uh, G section of my thing. Giant wolf spider. <laughs> Two words I never wanted to hear together. I'm sorry, what? Uh, what's your your AC's at 20, right? Yeah. Ooh, just hits. Punch. <laughs> it's just not gonna roll damage. Don't worry, it's only... 96. 11. <laughs> Ow! Make a constitution saving throw. Okay, you're good, you're not poisoned. But it bites into you and then tries to scurry away. You can take an attack of opportunity if you'd like to. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, that's enough to kill it. <laughs> I don't want to go first anymore. I don't like this. From there, I got you. looking off to the right, Boris, you see a very, very large spider uh. crawling down off of the webbing on the ceiling. Front fang or front arms <laughs> yeah good luck <laughs> um the front arms kind of reel back and you can see these large fangs protrude from its mouth along with these little grabbers that seem to you know work like pulling things in um and it lets out this horrid sort of at you uh, everyone roll initiative <laughs> i knew i should have stayed home and today <laughs> we have our level 11 things applied, right? We're not yes, like delaying yeah. applying those? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Are these going into the turn order? They will, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. 
Hey, that's my... a fast one, Harriet. Yeah, but my token wasn't selected. But it oh, is yeah, I selected. Have it. I have it clicked, like the things are up. What sorcery? What sorcerer? Sorcery in my sorcerer gunslinger, no, never. <laughs> okay, what did you roll, Harriet? 21? 21.18. Is that everybody? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Oh, it rolled so good. <laughs> yeah, it rolled really well. Got... Yeah, 19. Um, yeah. Okay, now I have to get my giant spider stats. Cry. Okay. Um, this thing is huge, guys. <laughs> I can't see it. It's around the corner. It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see it rear back, and it's it lifts itself up, uh, and you can see the different portions of its body kind of writhing as it reaches down its tail section, and this uh, huge glob of webbing shoots out at you. Make it... Uh, does a 23 hit? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a dexterity saving throw. I um, wish it was. <laughs> this webbing shoots out and just covers you, pinning you to the ground. Um, you are considered restrained by the webbing. And uh, it approaches and is going to make a bite attack on you. Another 23. Was that with advantage? It was. Okay, yeah. Make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> 24. Okay, you're not poisoned. Um, ooh. I, I assume it's been more than, what, 10 minutes fly last yeah, since yeah, I cast yeah. that? Okay. Um, you take 20 points of damage, 11 <laughs> piercing, and 9 poison. Um, Help. So, that is it for the spider's turn. Um, next up is Harriet. What would you like to do? Um, well, it's really far from me, so and I can't even see it. So, well, I can see like a corner of it. Yeah, you can see it well enough. So. <laughs> okay, well, kind of look back at Urges, like you know, look at the spider, look at Urges, who be like, "This one's for you, honey," and just try and fire off twice <laughs> with her gun at it. Extra attack. Um, nice. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if it works. And, oh, I didn't reset these. Um, just for urges, she'll use a grit point to get advantage on one of them. Okay. Just for urges. Just for urges. urges. Not for the wood elf who's Nobody dying else. in front of you. No, definitely <laughs> not Dying, for him. so dramatic. Dying? <laughs> a 20 Whoa. hits for sure. Um, Whoa. Yeah. You fire your shot, um, and the first shot hits a direct hit straight through the torso of this creature, blows off this huge chunk of it. The second shot you fire, and you sever the other part of it, and the spider just falls down, split in half by your two shots. Uh, dead. She'll, like, <laughs> she'll like blow the end of the pistol and she'll look back at Urges and be like, see, they're nothing to worry about. <laughs> like, Very impressive. That's it. Okay. Um, the shot echoes out and you can hear reverberations <laughs> Sorry, of it guys. throughout uh, much of this space. Ezekiel, you're up next. Vos, what was that? <laughs> Help. Can I like talk at all? Yeah, you can talk. Oh, okay. It's just like pinning your it's arms and legs down. It's a big spider. <laughs> Help, please. <sighs> um, can I get through there, or, or are these two blocking the path? Oh, you can get through. Yeah. Okay. I'll go try and cut him out. <laughs> I okay. think I have a dagger. <laughs> yeah, it takes. It's an action to try to cut him out. So. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So use your action. Um to cut Varus out, go ahead and make an athletics check. 
Oh, <laughs> golly. I believe. Let me double check just to be sure. Yep, a strength check, so you can use athletics if you'd like to. That is exactly what it you needed. It not matter, yeah. Uh, hey. You managed to just cut Varus out. You, Varus, you still have huge tufts and chunks of webbing hanging on to you, but you are freed from the webbing. <laughs> um, still ever the wary, terrified Ezekiel on the tick dodge as a bonus action. Okay. That's one of the things I can do, right? No, I cannot. That's I was mistaken. That's not a cunning action. Oh, okay. Um, now it's disengage, oh, dash, right. and hide. Um, then, then that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. Just kind of look around. <laughs> all right. Next up is Varus. What would you like to do? Uh, Varus doesn't really see anything else at the moment that's currently actively threatening him so he spends his entire turn being a dramatic bitch and cleaning off as much of the webs as he can okay <laughs> sounds good uh, you managed to clean everything off and um, we can sort of go free action for a while we'll pause the turn order here and pick it up in a second um, if there's something else there we don't know in a second when what happens, Matt? <laughs> when our good more. friend of comes around the corner and says, "Wow, this you're also when, in this when cave." When Regis comes, yeah, <laughs> Regis. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you see this giant hulking spider body just split in half by Harriet's gunshots. Um, That's unpleasant, even by my standards. Oh, mine too. This place is creepy. Let's yeah. get out of here as quickly as we can. I don't have arachnophobia yet. Yet. Tell yourself that. So... Oh no, I. Oh no. <laughs> What's this way? Oh, don't want to go that way. No, no, Varus, that way you way. see a large cluster of webs stuck there and more of those smooth stones. Um, this time, I think they might be eggs. <laughs> which way do we want to go? Did someone tell us which way to go? No. Uh, um... <sighs> Kainan, you lead the way. I'll, I'll follow yeah. you. All right, I can do that. Um, we'll go to that. I guess I'm already going this way. All right. Okay, and as you go down the way, um, you notice this direction. Several more them. of those large spiders. <laughs> <laughs> as well as, uh, next to the eggs right here, a swarm of smaller spiders. There's probably a hundred. Uh, We're gonna go back into initiative order. No. <laughs> Which means Faris is up right now. Okay. Um, Faris will be like, okay, let's practice counting with the swarm of spiders. Uh, 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 one, two, and because I'm level eleven, three. <laughs> oh. <Yes. laughs> okay. You also release... ignore all the twos. Okay. It's just four, two, and six. Four, two, and six. Okay. Are you attacking the spider swarm, or are you attacking the big yeah. spiders? The swarm. Okay, the swarm. You release the, the three shots, so it's four, two, and six. Um, mm -hmm. Minus 12 total. You, yeah, you just, with your purple daggers flying, you manage to blast huge chunks of these spiders out of existence. Uh, their bodies just crushed and squished onto the floor. Um... And you manage to crack some of the eggs open, and you see some unformed spiders inside of the large variety. But uh, the swarm uh, lives on. Anything else you'd like to do? I will also bonus action. <laughs> yeah. Give me hit points. Bonus action hit. Thank you. Me, yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> That's okay. all, though. Okay, next up is Zarius. Okay. I gotta... Hold on. <laughs> I gotta zoom out and do a quick measurement. Uh. Hold up his tape measure. 
I like to picture uh, us measuring range. Is no, it's like fine. Your beginning fighters? It's, it's so much more than fine. Um, Zarius is gonna cast his first sixth level spell and cast uh, Blade Barrier. Okay. Um, oh. Which is a hundred foot wall, right down like that of blades. Okay. Vertical wall of whirling razor sharp blades made of magical energy. The wall appears yeah. in range. And he'll, of okay. he'll make sure to leave like a little path to get through. So if Kane or someone wants to go punch things, they don't have to go through a wall of blades. Okay. But um, <laughs> and he, he's going to make sure to cover the eggs too. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. So they make a deck saving throw. Um, here, let me draw your line really fast. one. What color do you want the line to be? Uh, Bright blue it line is. Line colored. Bright blue it is. Awesome. So it's like this. Is that about right? Sure. Yep. Okay. Change it. How about like that? Yeah. That's a little better. Okay. Because <laughs> his, his other thing was to get this spider swarm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, that's what? One, two, three, four. Just five feet thick. Okay. 6d10. Yeah, so it'll be 25 damage or half that, which is like, what? Doesn't take 12. it yet, though. Takes it on the start of its turn. Uh, when a creature enters the wall's area for the first time on a turn. Yeah. So this is a turn, and it enters the area. Depending on your DM's ruling, yes. Which I am the DM, and that's what I'm ruling. <laughs> that's fine with that's fine with me. Okay, so, um, and it's a 17 DC. Yep. They actually rolled really well. One of them got a nat one. Um, nice. So he did. Um, but the rest of them saved, so they take half damage, right? Yep, which okay. is 12. 12, all right. Uh, minus 12. Yeah. Yeah, the rest of the swarm is just, like, shredded to pieces uh, by this whirling blade barrier wall um, as they try to skitter around and are just cut, cut to shreds. Uh, which is surprising because they're all so teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, but lots yeah. of blades. Yep, lots and lots and lots <laughs> of blades. Okay. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? Uh, he's gonna take like a, a couple steps back. Okay. <laughs> all right. If I sounds can select great. my token. Just not having this. Five, ten, fifteen. He'll go stand by Ezekiel. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Next up is Kanan. What would you like to do? Heck yeah, Kanan's gonna run in there. Okay. <laughs> All right. right here. Okay. And then start wailing on this guy. All right, sounds great. Oh, quarterstaff action. Okay. Yeah. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first strike, you, you just whiff, and the spider's pretty fast. Uh, much faster than you had originally expected uh, a creature this large to be. Manages to dodge out of the way, but the second one, you get a solid hit on it. Nice, and then she's gonna spin a point, flurry of blows, and kick him. Okay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you just had kick. To do some extra spins in between. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you kick and just flourish, turn it into a flourish. Um, the first one, yeah, you miss, it has a lot of legs. The second one, you manage to get two of its legs and uh, hit him pretty good, doing a solid 11 damage. It's definitely hobbling and it's looking pretty hurt. All right, and then I'm gonna back off a okay. couple of feet. Boom. Okay, sounds great. Uh, next up is the spiders. Um, for clarity's sake, I'm gonna have to delete some of these. Because, you know, there's a lot. Oh, I was gonna loot those bodies. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like for dinner. First, <laughs> Harry, you see stepping through the wall uh, an ethereal <gasps> shape of a giant spider. Uh, Toast spider? Almost invisible, just barely oh, visible it. arms pushing through the space, and it materializes in front of you. It's gonna make a bite attack. Um, does a 16 hit? No, it does okay. not. It tries to strike at you the first with the first one and misses. It rears back and sort of shrieks at you and strikes again. Um, the second attack, a 22. 
That does hit. Okay, and you take 11 points of piercing damage as these massive fangs jab into your body. Uh, and you also take 20 points of poison damage. But for you, it's reduced to half, so that's another 10. Um, and make a constitution saving throw. Running me through the whole gambit. Let's see, you said con save. Yeah. 18. Uh, you feel the effects of the poison enter your body. Oh, if that's to get poisoned, it would be an advantage, I You're believe. You're plenty fine, of... yeah. So, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. But, uh, yeah, you feel the poison enter your body, and you're kind of like, all right, is this, this it? That's all you got? Um, that, that's uh, it for poison? Um, I've had words from my son's egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the rest of these are going to rush forward, and this one's going to launch a web at Kanan. So Kanan make a, actually can do that from back here. Um, Hold on, I believe I it just, it. Uh, so it launches this web at, um, oh yeah, it enters that space, okay. Um, oh, I have so many saving throws I have to do all the time. And it fails, so it dies, <laughs> actually, is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it steps forward, you see it rearing back to launch some webbing. And as it approaches the blade barrier, because it doesn't know what that is, the blades just let, just shred the legs as they step through it. Um, another one is going to approach, seeing its comrade cut down, and is going to just stay just a few feet away um, and launch a web at <laughs> Kanan. So uh, that is a 15 to hit, which does not hit. Um, this big doesn't. glob of webbing spreads out and just splatters on the cave wall next to you. And you can see it definitely would have pinned you down had it got you. Um, this one here is going to rush forward into the blade barrier, make a dex save, and uh, roll a seven. So it dies also. Um, these two up here being more like... Oh, this one started its turn there, so it has to make a dex save. It's an 11, so it dies. These spider corpses. <laughs> This one, uh, seeing itself cornered, it sort of backs up into the uh, the corner of the cave there and it starts to go up the wall. So it's on the ceiling looking down at you all and it's going to try to shoot a web at the only thing that it can see that assumes it's doing all of this, which is Kanan. Um, that's a 22 for the web. Yeah, that hits. Okay. So the webbing goes through, surprisingly not shredded to pieces by the blade wall um, through somehow, some magical means. And it awesome just, webs. Yeah, it just splatters Kanan against the wall. Um, so you are considered restrained by this webbing. Um, and you can use your action to break out. Uh, and that is it as far as you all can see for now. So next up is Harriet. Harriet's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Get back. <laughs> And just like put her hands together and cast burning hands at it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, deck save, right? Yeah. Or the phase spider. Dang. Phase spider. Yeah, roll a 14. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm casting it. I'm putting that in. Okay. Okay, yeah, so it takes 16 points of fire damage. Um, and you can see it really just recoil back and sort of screech from that fire, and you manage to light a whole chunk of the, the spider webs that are on the wall alight as well. Um, they quickly, like, like flash paper, just burn out, but you do burn off a whole chunk there. Of the wall, up like to like when about... you light um, like cotton, yep. like, the, like on fire, and it just yeah. So it just burns this from basically there down to here. It just torches okay. that whole section before it burns out. Um, anything okay. else you'd like to do? Just be like, "There's more where that came from," and just like keep pushing our hands towards it. Okay. Yeah, and that's all for her. <laughs> all right, sounds great. Uh, next up is Ezekiel. What would you like to do? Oh, what is that thing? Um. <laughs> Actually, with my knowledge of stuff, is this actually a ghost, or is it something that's ghost-like? <laughs> uh, I would say make uh, if you're proficient in history, make a history check. Otherwise, make an intelligence check. I am proficient check. in history. I love it with my knowledge Ten. of stuff. <laughs> I rolled a five, but I have reliable talent now, nice. so it is a fifteen. <laughs> nice. I think 
I think you can toggle that in the settings. There's an option for reliable I'll, talent. Uh, I'll look for that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No big deal. We can add in our minds also the power of math. Um, with uh, 15. There is yeah. reliable talent. I found it. <laughs> yeah. With a 15, uh, it's not. It's definitely not a ghost. Um, it just seems like something I've, that has <laughs> capabilities outside of what you've seen before. I've seen ghosts, and you're not a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen death. <laughs> Uh, well, with it not being a ghost, I'm gonna... Actually, I'll just take aim at it. I won't move at all. I'll all right. just take aim at it, and I'll shoot it with my short bow. Plunk. Ooh! Ooh. That oh. was supposed to be an advantage, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you pull it back. It a sneak attack. <laughs> Let loose. Yeah, go ahead and roll your sneak attack. I forgot to click the button for Oh, yeah. <laughs> You fire the arrow from the perspective that you're at. You can you you let the arrow loose and it actually punctures all the way through the spider's entire body, <laughs> emerging out, clattering against the cave wall, splattering spider guts and everything like that around, uh, and the creature falls down dead. And even in its dead state, you can see its limbs have have sort of an ethereal quality to them, where they've just phased through the floor, but the body is still in place. Definitely not a ghost. Uh, anything else you'd like to do, Ezekiel? Uh, no, because I cannot move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, next up is Varus. What would you like to do? Varus will... How are you doing up there, Kanan? Um, can I use my action to get her out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, make okay. an ath or a strength check. Strength or athletics? You can make athletics if you want to. Okay. 12. It's exactly what you needed. You very okay. deftly cut Kanan out, uh, trying to flourish as cool as you can, but you're just scraping the end of your sword on the cliff wall. Yeah. You all good now? Yes, uh, very much so. Thank you. All right, and I'll run past her and just kind of like engage this spider. I don't know, I can't do anything else this turn, but <laughs> okay. I'll just be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> the spider's eight eyes definitely, like they, they focus on you and you can see you've got its attention because it doesn't know what the blade barrier is so it's just like ah yeah. which is the one that's on the ceiling this only one that's still alive oh, okay yeah sorry i forgot to do that one too oh gotcha my bad um okay uh next up is zarius what would you like to do uh oh hmm I guess Zarius will go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and just, I don't know, stay there with his sword drawn, ready to attack anything that comes close to him. Okay. <laughs> he'll, leave, he'll leave the blade barrier up until someone asks him to drop it. Okay. You got your sword out to the ready. Um, are you taking the, like, uh, Yeah, like he's going to hold an action to okay. stab something if it attacks or okay. comes close to him. Got it. All right, next up is Kanan. What would you like to do? All right, so what, can I pass the wall through here? Yeah, I'd say you could run up on the edge there, unless um, Zarius meant for it to go all the way to the wall. Fine with me. Okay, so yeah, you can run up by run up around it that way. I don't think he could see the wall at that point. Okay. Like it was just shy, so. All right, I think... Ooh. How high up is it? Uh, standing up, Kanan's fairly tall. You could reach up and poke at it, because it's a big, you know. So the cave wall is only about 10 feet tall. So with a big size of the spider hanging down, you know, you could reach up and stab it. OK. Um, then yeah, Kanan will get right under it. OK. And um, try to hit it with their quarter staff up there. OK. Before you do so, <laughs> um, go ahead and make a an acrobatics check to make sure that you don't get stuck in the webbing. Easy peasy, yeah. You run through, stepping on spots that are either already flattened or have spider guts on them to make them not sticky anymore. And you run up and just whack this thing with your quarter staff. Solid hit on the first strike. Another, yeah, another solid, solid hit. It's looking hurt. It's not dead, but it's looking hurt for sure. Right, and I'm gonna spin. Do I have? Can I reach it with my arm? Yeah. 
Okay, then I'll spend a key point to flurry of blows. Okay, let's reach up, punch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Your first strike, unless you have a particular way that you'd like to kill this spider. No, uh, just. <laughs> okay. You punch up, and your fist just breaks through its its chitinous armor. And you feel just the warm goo of spider guts all over your hand. Anything else gross. you'd like to do? <laughs> no, no. You could be grossed out as a free action, that's fine. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, next up is uh, the giant spiders. Um, seeing what has just happened, this one down here, I don't know if anyone can see. No, no one can see. Uh, skitters off and into the dark. So, we are out of combat technically right now. You all do still see lots of spiders present, although um, they're just a small, you know, they're like regular spiders. Killer spider. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Regular spider. Regular spider. In the regular <laughs> cave. In the regular cave. Everyone okay? Regular cave. Regular cave. I'm doing good. Um, yeah, but good over here. A bit shaken, but all right. I think we're all in that boat. Hi. Yes. Shall we there. continue on? I don't like this place. Yeah. It looks like this is the, really the only way forward. And so, just before you wall. drop you? the uh, the blade wall, um, oh, Zarius, okay. you notice that Urgis is looking really intently at it. Like he's he's trying to understand it. Uh, it looks like he, his mind is working as he's wrapping his head around how it works, what it is, how it's working. And you see him reach his finger forward and almost touch it, like just no, just no, no, get no, no, right no. to the edge. No, no. Uh, just curious. Don't touch. Hmm. How do you make this appear? Um, a little help from a friend. I see. Hmm. Interesting. Depending on how things go, you may get to meet her later. That would be very interesting. And then he turns and walks. <laughs> Brandon. All right. Oh, Zarius, have you ever done that before? No, it just was kind of an in the moment thing. Impressive. But yeah, I, I, I had no idea it would work. I was kind of thinking, like, you know, the Guardians that I do, but, like, in a line. And then... Swords. <laughs> that happens. I'm... It looks like it really worked. Yeah, it took her the spiders pretty well. I don't I'm think I can here. do it I'm again today. I'm shouting areas from across the cave, apparently. <laughs> I, didn't do I don't it. think I can do it again <laughs> today. <laughs> Um, which path are we going down? It does, it looks pretty clear up here, uh, now yeah. that we killed quite a few of them. It's this way ahead, looks like, well, there's still a bunch of them, but... God, where are you? <laughs> I'm up here! How'd you get over there? I walked! <laughs> Okay. Ezekiel is really dazed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hearing like people's voices echoing off the cave walls, trying to figure out where people are. It's like, where the heck right. did everyone oh, go? Right. Do you have your lamp on? I have a lamp you... on, so I have sight, okay. but okay. It's like, you can't see anything. You're just hearing voices. <laughs> That's normal for him, though. Oh. Good. <laughs> so. Every As you time all I close my eyes. Kind of recollect yourselves and get ready. That's just a regular spider on the ground in front of Urgis. Regular spiders. Um, you notice that the webs are thick here. You all are going to have to be careful to and like climb and crawl to make sure that you don't get stuck as you're walking. If you want to not get stuck. If you want to, you can just trudge through it and cut it away and make a bunch of noise, but it's up to you. Harriet. Um. 
Oh, go ahead. Can... Well, that is a good question. Did I see that Harriet was able to burn away some of the webs, or did I miss sure. that? Yeah, I would say that you could okay. you could understand that. That was what I was gonna do. So I must be I'm trying take... to get rid of things that are flammable. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a little inspiration from you if you don't mind, and I'll just flick my sword, and it lights on fire, and I'll swing it down at the webs using okay. green flame blade. Okay. You burn off a smaller portion. Um, it does seem to work, but with the thickness of the webs, it doesn't clear it out all the way. You're able to okay. take out some of the smaller stuff, but um, it doesn't spread like it did before. Yeah. <sighs> well, that no, didn't I... go very well. Oh, well, you know. How many times can you do that? I can keep doing it. Off. <laughs> it's just going to take a really long this, time. I'm picturing Harriet joins in with the quarter stab and just spamming Firebolt. Like, <laughs> like, <Okay>. and trips, <laughs> and trips. It might be faster like, just to walk through Just a flamethrower um, at these webs, like some tired person with like a lawnmower hacking through weeds. No, because it's every six seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> we probably could have just crawled through it at this play pace. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it, the webs are like this as far as you can see. So you, you can certainly sit and clear them all out, or you can walk either way. Okay, she'll do it for maybe like 30 seconds, like five rounds of, of this, and be like, okay, got, I, got my, I got my therapeutic moment out. Yeah, let's we just, just walk. I didn't think there's much, excuse me, that we'll be able to do. Let's just go. No. Trudge in. Okay. Um, so as you all progress, everyone make an acrobatics check. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I never roll good. <laughs> Okay. Everyone but Harriet succeeds. Yes, that's an at Zarius, that's an athletics. Oh, sorry. Oh, it is. <laughs> I'm even. I'm, at, I'm better at acrobatics. Thank yeah, you. but you're gonna roll worse. You're right. <laughs> you're <Yeah>. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's destiny that Zarius and I always get stuck. Despite together. both having like plus four or whatever. Always. So always. Harriet and Zarius, as you. Get, you walk in through and you get stuck in this webbing. And you don't really think much of it at first, but you see the webbing that continues on throughout the caves sort of wave up and down and tremor. And after a moment, you hear like someone loudly whispering. Um, you hear just this, wait, 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 wait. Don't move. If you move, they can find you. If you move, they can find you. If you move, they can find you. And he just keeps whispering this. Um. Does anybody else hear that? I do. Is it verbal or is it? Yeah, you all hear it echo okay. throughout the cave. I mean, as the guy that talks to ghost, you could never be sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, I guess. That is a really good point. <laughs> Definitely hear that. Um, Hello? Maybe we don't move for a bit. Is it wise to speak to it? What is... I don't know what's wise anymore down here. I guess the best we do is go forward carefully. I mean, we can't stay here. That's fair. I mean, we can, it's just really bad. I would really like to not stay here. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Keep going. It's easy enough to cut, cut yourselves out. Foot. Yeah. You can cut yourselves out fairly easily. Um, to your right, Varus, as you look down this cavern, you see it is an egg room. It is full of webs uh, and full of big giant eggs. Guys, I don't want to go this way. Was there another path? I didn't go down the other branch. It's this way. 
No, that one was just a loop. Let's go that way. Go on, Kanan. Lead the way. Oh, all right. I can do that. Uh, every second I spend in here is one more second closer to being afraid of spiders permanently. Okay. As you enter into this area that you're approaching here, you see there are several pathways that venture out. There's one to your right, one to the left that, that goes downwards and splits into further paths. On the path to the right, you see that's where the majority of the webs that you got stuck in earlier lead to. It's this big mat of webs that ventures down into this large sort of clearing. I think Zarius, you can see in. Yeah. So it's this direction up here. Um, it's a large mm -hmm. area and you can see from where you are, if you take one step forward, right here. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, but you just see this large yes, kind will. of opening area. Okay, if you step forward, you see um, a figure caught in the webbing. Uh, he, he's, it's difficult to make out from here, but you notice that the one thing that stands out is the need to make a perception check. <laughs> I gotta keep fitting him in where I can. It is fetch, absolutely. <laughs> it's just fetch. <laughs> this is why he hasn't been present for us. He's been stuck in the webs. Help, Varus. How's it uh, hanging? <laughs> where have you been? I'm a bit tied up. <laughs> okay. Um. So you see a just a shorter, white-haired, um, and like large bearded goateed almost. Um, it looks like a, a relative or cousin of a dwarf. Gray skin, glowing, almost white eyes, um, and this sort of like tattered clothing. That it's like barely robes. Um, he's got some like bone armor on one shoulder as a pauldron, a large staff set up, and he's just whispering to himself. Uh, he doesn't seem to have noticed you, but he's just whispering constantly. It's like a lot of like repeating phrases. Um. Mr. World. <laughs> so what would you like to do? Okay. Are we looking up those areas? How is it? And there's a person or a thing huh? tied up in the webbing. He's whispering to himself. He's alive. Seems like. But it's a really big room full of webs. We should like, help, right? Really big room. But there's only one person. There's no other spiders I, or something. No, not, not that I see yet here. Let me take a couple more steps. <laughs> it's a large room filled with webs. Maybe. Uh, and you notice the, the thing that stands out most is that he is stock still. He is not moving a muscle, except his mouth. And as you step in a little further, and you all are talking, uh, you see his eyes focus on you. And he hey, says, wait, buddy. wait, wait, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Not moving. If you move, they can find you. If you move, the spiders will find you. They'll come here and they'll find oh. you. Well, we already took on a bunch of them back there. Not those, not those, not those, not those. Not those. Uh, other other spiders? spiders? Tall with arms and armor. Spiders, large spiders. Large spi- mm. Do you know how to get out of here? <laughs> out. Mm, we... Get out. Get out, I guess. Uh, there is a way out, there's a way out. I can show you, uh, but... You've got to get me out. Get me a way out of here. Get me out. I can get out. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do you just want to come with us? Is he, like, tied up? No, he's just stuck in the webbing. Okay. Um, oh. Yeah, I'll come help. I'm serious. I'll walk over. Okay. You can make an acrobatics check. Oh, no. That's <laughs> this one. Dude, every time! You get to here, and you get stuck. And you see the webs ripple out. And he says, what? I said, don't move, don't move, don't move. Here they come, here they come, here they come. 
How am I supposed to help you if I can't move? Uh, just a moment here. <coughs> you gotta move the map. Are we trusting the crazy man in a cave stuck in the webs? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome back, initiative counter. Welcome back, initiative <laughs> counter. Uh, we are gonna roll. Are we not roll initiative? Roll initiative. A moment later, after you all see the webs ripple and shake, um, a number of spiders come silently moving down the hall, the pathway here. One on the ceiling, one on the ground. Um, I just gotta move some stuff here. Um, okay. First, another, um, you see stepping out from the wall in front of Varus, oh. a spider Hi. appear, and it's gonna take a chomp at you. No. It's a 22 to hit. Uh, am I able to use my reaction at all? Yeah, sure, I would say you can. Okay, then I will That's reaction defensive duelist parry. Okay, so it increases your AC by five? By four. By four, okay, so that's Which enough. Which should put me into, yeah. All right. So it chomps at you with its, it starts to puncture you with these two large fangs, and you manage to deflect the sharpened end of them with your sword, very quickly reacting. Um, it sort of hisses, and you see it in front of you become immaterial, this sort of uh, non-physical form. So, Fun. for all intents and purposes, it is uh, ethereal. We'll just put this symbol on it. Why not? Um, these two spiders up at the top are going to launch some webs at Zarius. So the first one... Oh, it's just the first one is going to do it. It's a 24. Web time! Yeah. You are restrained. Oh, yeah. Um, the next one here is going to move down. Let's get and webby. fire a web at Varus. What's that? Which is a 22, but does not hit because of your added thing, right? It does hit, because that's only for one attack. Oh, okay. All right. So, Varus, you are also it's restrained. It's not like shield. Uh, Varus, you are stuck and restrained. <laughs> Next up is Harriet. What would you like to do? I'd like to unmute first. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I need to move because I can't. So, is this a spider over here too? Uh, I didn't see that. Sorry. Hold on. Uh, yeah, but it's just a small one. Doesn't seem to be interested in you all. Okay. The main stuff is over here. Yeah, I know. I just was, you know, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, okay. Making sure it's not got really beefy reinforcements. So I will move here. And this is the same. Is this the same kind of like spectral spider she had fought before yeah. type thing? Okay. Um, then she's going to kind of step right there so that she can fire at it and not hit Varus, I guess. Okay. Um, and kind of hold up the quarter staff, like kind of maneuvering it between Varus and the thing and fire off some fire bolts okay. at it. Okay. Yeah. Here. Uh. 23, yeah. You release the firebolt and it arcs straight on it. You've got a nice clean shot and it goes right through the spider's body and sparks on okay. the cave wall behind. Same with the second shot. Okay. Then she'll just kind of, still like she does, keep her, even though it didn't hit, keep her quarter step up, like defensive yeah. and be up against that wall, kind of. Okay. Like, Sounds great. Yeah. Just off enough so you're not stuck. <laughs> yep. Okay. Sounds good. Next up is Ezekiel. What would you like to do? Uh, move so that I can see anything that's going on. Um, so which spider just died? None of them no, died. Okay. This one is None just of them died. ethereal. Oh, that one took hits and is ethereal. Um, Uh, 
Um. Okay. One more step. We'll be here. I can't really see anything, but I know things are here, so I'm going to dodge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just fire off into the dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Taking the dodge action. Got it. Yes. Taking a defensive. <laughs> nice. Yes. All right. All right. Next up is Varus. What would you like to do? It's me. Um, I am going to probably just use my action to free myself if that's a thing I can do. Yeah, yeah. Still. Make a, an athletics check. 20. Quickly cool. cut yourself free, um, tearing out of the webbing there. You have your movement and bonus action. Yeah. Um, how is movement in this area is it normal or I'd say it's difficult to rain okay so 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 okay so i'll just start kind of moving in okay so but right. uh yeah that's it okay yeah you see two more large spiders the ones that shot the webs at you um right mm -hmm. there okay next up is zarius what would you like to do Serious. Um, hold on, I gotta see if. No, oh, come on, character sheet, please. I just have no, you. No character sheet. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, there, there it goes. Is this so restrained? How does is that just no movement? Yeah, you just can't move. Or is that you can still make attacks okay. and everything like normal? You just can't move. Okay, Zerius is gonna cast Spirit Guardians then. Leave just to keep things away from him. <laughs> um, I don't know if anything's in range yet or not, but if they are, and then, hold on, I'll put the aura on. 15, is it 10 or 15? 15. I think it's 15, I think it's 15. There we go. Yeah, 15 foot radius, okay. Oh, that thing's not actually here, is it? Nope, it's in the ethereal plane. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so, but. Good to know, just Maybe in case. Maybe it comes back. <laughs> yeah. All right, next up is Kanan. What would you like to do? Uh, um, oh gosh, can Kanan hit this thing? Or no better way to find out than to try. Okay, I was going to say you could try. That's what we're doing. <laughs> um, yeah, so Kanan will go up around it and try to hit it with her quarter staff. Okay. Swing your quarterstaff and it whips right through. All right. Um, <laughs> she'll just kind of shout out and be like, uh, what the hell do I do? <laughs> um, and then step over to Zarius and try to... I don't know, just wait until her next turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And wait until my next turn. Vagabond, I'll help you in just a sec. <laughs> in just one moment. Give me six seconds. Who would win? Five okay. vagabonds or one or ghost one spider? One ghost spider. <laughs> okay, the spiders spider. are up next. Uh, it rushes forward towards Varus and uh, is going to make a bite I attack. I just poured water all over myself. Uh, that's an so 11 I'm... to hit Varus. So uh -huh. It does not hit. No. Um, this one is going to come up and make another bite. <laughs> And that one's a 22. Defensive duelist. <laughs> you can, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wata. The fangs come out again, protruding, and they slice towards you once more. And you just very instinctively draw your blade out and deflect the the fangs. Um, and... I'm unfortunately starting to get used to this. <laughs> and you see both of them kind of reel back and shriek at you as you do so. But that's it for their turn. Oh, sorry, are I forgot about the, uh, the face spider. The, I was say, are those different than the ghost spider? Ones? Yeah. The face spider is going to step through this area here, kind of curiously looking at the ethereal guardians that are, you know, attempting to attack it, and then move down this way towards um, Ezekiel. And get right over here. And become material. And then make an I'm attack. Ghost. Disadvantage, because I'm Disadvantage, dodging. Disadvantage, that's right. Uh, well, that's a nat 1, which is good, because it would have been a nat 20. Um, <laughs> Duality. Dodge spider. It would have been like 35 damage. 
But it, it doesn't do that. Uh, so well. it, it chomps at you and misses. It chomps a second time and rolls another nat one, uh, thanks to disadvantage. Uh, <laughs> that one would have You're just not been a, ghost. a 20. <laughs> so good on you for doing that dodge. That was a really good decision. Wow. All right. Um, since he already used his bonus action, he, that's all he's going to do. Next up is Harriet. Woo, buddy. OK. So um, help. <laughs> Uh, I see me. this, obviously, <laughs> and I go, oh my word, <laughs> come on now, <laughs> like try and burning hands this thing. Okay. <laughs> She's so yeah, fed up. She, um, not burning hands Ezekiel, that's for sure. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll move a little bit. Yeah, let me, I okay. was on the wrong one again. Yeah, Moving yeah. enough to be like, be there basically. Okay, got it. So I'm kind of like side by side with Ezekiel, like don't mess with my friends type thing and try and do some fire and see if she can actually hit it on this plane for once. <laughs> don't know if it'll work. This one. Dexterity saving throw. Roll a 14. Very much. Okay, well, it takes six whole fire. That's good, yeah. You release, the sheet of flame shoots out, and it just hits the spider right in the front legs. And you can see it burn off some of the hairs that are on its legs and kind of uh, race up its body just for a second, and it takes some some damage there. Um, nicely done. Anything else you'd like to do? Yeah. Just classic Harriet, fingers still up after shooting, and just like kind of like threatening it back. <laughs> okay, got it. Sorry, I did the wrong spell. That was an energy spell. This is a fire spell. It sounds exactly the same. All right, I don't know why they're different. No, that was here. very different, very important. That one was a morbus. How about this I one? I really felt the... There you go. I don't know, with the six, the six fire, maybe not that one, but, you <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most dramatic noise. All right, uh, Ezekiel, you're up next. Uh, yeah, I appreciate the gesture, Harriet, but I'm going to take the disengage bonus action. <laughs> go over here. Okay. I'm still fighting uh, this thing if you'll hear or not. Well, yeah, that, that is helpful because I am going to take a shot at it. And if it hits, it's sneak attack because I have an ally. Mm. Yeah, you do. It doesn't hit, though. <laughs> you fire off this shot after stepping away from Harriet. The flames of the sp of the, on the front of the spider's leg kind of distracting you for a moment um, and drawing, you know, kind of affecting your, your vision. You release the shot and you hear a solid thunk from the arrow hitting. Um, let me just do the noise. And it plunges directly into Harriet's back. <laughs> feeling, uh, Allies! Only the eight points of piercing damage because it's, you know, she's not, doesn't have an ally within five feet. Um, like, ah, oh, did a spider just throw that at me? Oh, um, yes. They've got weapons. <laughs> uh, <laughs> spiders are shooting arrows. I was distracted. Uh, Oh, it was you? All right. Fire four oh, arrows at once. Spider. <laughs> okay, uh, anything else, Ezekiel? Oh, you said eight. That's sorry. everything. Yeah, just eight. Um, next up is Varus. What would you like to do? All right. It takes two to tango, so let's do this. And uh, action, green flame blade, his sword alights in green fire, and he'll swing at this one um, as the main attack, and then fire will leap to the second one. Uh, the one next to it. Okay. Uh, I don't think it ping went through, but yeah. Oh, the oh shit. Oh, okay. okay, thanks. Okay. Um, so, all right. So with a twenty-two, you definitely hit and deal twenty-four points of damage. Um, so the first and one, then, you strike yeah. through, and the flames from your green flame blade just ignite the back of the hairy back of the spider, and it just burns and and cooks it inside its own body. Nice. And then this one takes uh, that much fire damage as okay. fire just <laughs> bounces over. Yeah, fire leaps over from the, the back of the one spider burning, and it begins to do the same thing. It doesn't doesn't get quite as far this time. <laughs> but it's definitely hard. Um, and he will uh, just move up here one space. Okay, you got That's it. That's all. All right, next up is Zarius. What would you like to do? Zerus is going to use his action to try and get unwebbed. Sure. Make an acrobatics or athletics check. Sorry, athletics. Athletics. No. Eight. 
You try and you struggle and you are not able to free yourself. Sirius is gonna stand here contemplating his working out. <laughs> <laughs> Come up with a workout plan. Uh, yep. <laughs> All right, next up like is Kanan. Scribbling in a sketchbook. What would you like to do, Kanan? Apologize fitness guru. The next vase. Apologize's fitness program. Yeah, uh, Kanan's going to run over here. Okay. And attack this guy, knowing she can. All right. Go ahead and make your attack roll. 27 hits for sure. And 22, that's enough to kill it. Um... You smack with the quarter staff, and you hear it. You hear some crunching, like you know, you get that good step on a spider noise. Um, and you swing it with back the other way, and you just manage to smack the inside of the body, and you see it cave in, and the spider collapse down to the side, rolling onto its side. And you see its legs like doing that gross spider thing that they do. That's great. Okay, that's it. Okay. Um, all right. Next up is the face spider, the last one. Um, seeing things, it's going to uh, go into the ethereal plane and disappear. That, that's enough of that. Time okay. for something different. Let's try something else. Um, meanwhile, after this, the... Uh, the Darrow, oh, sorry, the, the guy stuck in the um, webbing over there says, see, I told you, don't move. Don't move, don't move. Uh, are those the spiders you were talking about? The, the large arms and armor? No, larger spiders, big spiders, white hair, dark skin. Big spiders, scary spiders. We can just kill them. Well, okay, well, I'm going to cut myself. We can't just keep now. standing here because then we'll just be stuck here. Right. And they'll um, eventually come to us. Well, I'll <laughs> come over and help you out. Um, you like, I think Zarius has got his hand stuck down there, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kanan will help Zarius and then go to help the, the dwarven guy. Paris will help the dwarven guy while you help Zarius. Okay. If he can make it there. Yeah, I would say, you know, I'd have you roll, but you have time, so, you know. Okay. You can take your time and be careful. All right, yeah, you get the guy out, and he's like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, why are you here? Why, why, why do you come here? What are you here for? Because we're trying to get to the next room. So, could you lead us there? Why, why, why? And then as... You all are here and entering into the space. He notices Harriet and Urgis. He looks back and forth between Harriet and Urgis and says, Dragons can't be trusted. Dragons, dragons, dragons can't be trusted. But I have to trust them. I have to trust me, trust them. Who do I choose? You choose, you choose. You'll find your truths by the blinding gate. Choose, choose, choose. I know the way. You, and he looks at you, Harriet. You'll find your truths by the blinding gate. Okay, that's great. Um, how do we get there? See, he's only mostly crazy, Ezekiel. The way you're going, you're going this way, this way. They'll, <laughs> they'll take your mind. They'll, they'll make you different. They'll make you want different things. Make you not recognize your friends. Make you think they're enemies. They're out to get you. Out to get you. Make you crazy, crazy. You'll never get out. Never get out. They think they got out, but they're wrong. They're still here. The big spiders. They're still here. They're still here. They think they got out, but they're still here. They can't leave. They'll never leave. They can't leave. You'll never leave either unless you know the way out. There's a way out. Way out, way out, way out, way out. I've seen it. They won't show you, but I can. I can show you, but you've got to get me out. Get me way out. Uh, you can come, come with us. Then. Let's go. 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 Yeah. You said. Go. Let's. Yeah. There's no going. There's no going. You just we'll said just we could go out. Okay. Well, let's work on getting you out of here. Yes. 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 Get me out. Yes. Get out. Out. You've got to get the yeah, way out. You've out. got to show me out. 
we've got to show you out. So you show us to these mind changes and we show you out. He just stops acknowledging you and just begins to walk this direction. Uh, once he reaches near the edge oh. of the chamber, <laughs> he just leans up against the wall and holds his hand up to his mouth. And after a moment, you all hear just the gentlest need to make a perception check. What do we want? Got one. I can do one. All of us or? Yeah, everybody's fine. Let's do it. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody, everybody gets to make perception checks. to check. make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Harriet. Okay, pretty good. Uh, Ezekiel, more concerned with uh, paying attention everywhere else, but actively in front of you. Um, urges with urges. Um, you are the only one who doesn't notice. The rest of you hear just the, it sounds like a gentle, like, rustling of armor. Um, like leather armor, you know, moving, like, like you all wear when you're running or whatever. It's just that kind of sound. And um, silently you see a large spider body round the corner. Oh. Um, oh. But attached oh. to the top of the body is a dark elf with arms and face and hair and everything, wearing armor, holding swords. And they just sort of careen around this corner. You'll have a moment to react. What would you like to do? Right. Get out of the way, God. <laughs> um. Stand perfectly still. <laughs> Faris will speak the command word for his pearl of power. Okay. Get the spills that neck. Do I have enough time to like jump out of the way? <laughs> I'd say you have enough time for one action. Okay. Well, I'm gonna use it to move back here. <laughs> uh, Kanan's going to. Can I like delay my action? Not delay. Hold. Too much divinity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> you gonna hold your action? Yes, that one. You waiting to attack? Yeah, if they, as soon as they attack someone, Kanan wants to run up and okay. hit it with their quarter staff. All right, got it. Harriet, anything? Um, she is taking this time to respect Crazy Man's um <laughs> wishes and is not moving. Okay, <laughs> got it. All right. Um. Probably gives Urgis and everybody like a little a side eye. Maybe licks her eyeball, but okay. that's probably about it. All right. Um, as these uh, creatures round the corner, um, they they kind of take you all in very quickly. And the very front one says the Elvish word for darkness, and the lights go out. It is pitch black everywhere around you. You can hear movement. We have you time cannot for see another anything, action. Uh, in just a moment. Okay. Um, so this darkness just envelops all of you, and it's so thick you can't see anything. It's the darkness spell, it's just for you know clarity's sake. Um, yeah, got that. <laughs> it's very, very, very dark. If I haven't made that clear. Um, well, magically dark. Magically dark. And you see, or you don't see, you can hear rustling. You can hear movement of this armor. You know, they're not moving totally silently like the spiders did. Um, but you also hear the drawing of a bunch of blades. Uh oh. So you all can take an action if you'd like to. Zarius. Mm hmm. Have they been like outwardly aggressive? Like, can you make like an insight check to see if they're like planning on stabbing us here in a couple seconds, or if this is like you just had a split not, second totally to see? Cool. Go ahead and make an insight check, um, but you'll be at disadvantage. Can he use his ring to make it a flat? Roll? You can, yeah. That's what it's there for. Awesome, insight. It's 
23. Um, they definitely seemed surprised to see you. That was more of the reaction that you got. With a 23, um, I mean, these are our elves. You've seen, I think you've seen Drow before. Um, yeah, you have, the sisters, yeah. So you've seen Drow before, but it was definitely a look of surprise rather than a look of, I'm going to kill you right now, or I'm going to eat you, or something like that. They could have been surprised and then kill you, but the main expression that you got was of surprise. Gotcha. I think the dodge action as an action. <laughs> okay, sounds great. Ezekiel's dodging, um, ready for something. Can Varus say in Elvish, Wait, wait, wait! We don't mean you any harm! We're just passing through! Make a persuasion check. Say with advantage because you're speaking the, your native language. 19. Mm. You hear... Um, the, the, you hear them begin to speak, but it's a different language. It's not They switched from Elvish. And you recognize it's the same language or similar to what the feral human spoke. Um, seems they want to communicate without being understood. But uh, there's been no movement, no rustling of anything like that. After a moment, you hear one of them shout out, and the voice echo down the hallway, or down the, the cavern there. And then you hear a slower, more obviously pronounced steps coming down uh, oh. and then uh, a muttered word in undercommon and the darkness dissipates and you all can see again and you see a large um, spider lady uh, wearing full like scale mail armor um, no sword drawn sword on her side but um, very like eloquent crown type uh, head, ador head adornment it kind of wraps around and frames the sides of her face. Long white hair. Um, and you see she's got just uh, glowing runes all up one arm. All up her left arm. And, okay. See you later, Ezekiel. Have a good time. Have a good night, Brandon. Okay. I think we're good. All right. Um, but yeah, you see... Um, this one come out and the glowing runes, she holds her hand up like, you know, like Iron Man style and the glowing runes all alight on her arm. And she says, why have you stumbled into my cave in Elvish? Um, we're just trying to find the way through. We're looking for some friends that are down further below. <laughs> friends below, how cute. And that's where we're going to end the session. Oh. <laughs>